you're listening to another episode of Retail Shift, business advice for inventory-based brands and the merchants who run them. Hey, I'm Chris Gio, CEO of Merchant Method and your retail coach for the next 10 minutes. Today, we are shining a bright light on planning, one of my favorite topics, because I really want you to see that planning is just merely, but also powerfully, a business practice and a habit that can quickly multiply your efforts and your investments. Now, if you're a student of Merchant Method, of one of my programs, you're familiar with my 100 Merchant Passion Project. And if you're a new listener, one of the things you have to know about me is that I am fascinated by this process of learning more about you. So what I've promised myself is by the end of the year, the calendar year, not the fiscal year, by December 31st, I want to have 100 conversations with merchants, quick ones, 20 minutes, uh, because I think that you deserve your dream business and your dream job. And I need to learn more about you in order to help you with that. So I'm listening and I'm learning. And so here are a few of the things that I've heard just in the past few weeks. I'm not a planner. I'm not naturally organized. I'm so overwhelmed. I just am trying to put one foot in front of another. I don't have time to plan. As soon as I start my workday, that plan I had goes out the door. Chris, my partner, will love me if you get me to start using Google Calendar. Now I'm telling you when I say I think I know you, I really do think I know you because I am listening deeply. So let's just do a quick sidebar before we go into some types of planning. I'm listening and I want to listen to you. I want to hear you. So if you want to have a chat with me, it's a quick 20 minute chat. And I promise you, I'm not going to sell you anything. All I want to do is hear and get to know you and your business a little better. All you need to do is go to merchantmethod.com and send me a quick message. You'll find my contact info on the footer. Okay, back to planning. So I'm going to spotlight three different types of planning. Yes, there are at least three. There are more, but these are the three basics you need as an independent retailer and as a maker. These are going to help you shape and grow a self-sustaining inventory-based brand. Okay, the three, merchandise planning. So that's merchandise planning, a hiring forecast, and then personal planning. All right, merchandise planning. So according to Optos, which is a point of sale company, merchandise planning is the process of managing important financial targets, such as sales, gross margin, and turnover. And what they mean by turnover is inventory turnover. I like to think of it as inventory freshness. Now, merchandise planning really encompasses what products you're going to sell, at what price, when you're going to have newness, and then when you're just going to mark things down and let them go. Now, I know that on the surface, these are the things as a merchant you think about all the time because customers are like They really like newness and freshness and you like newness and freshness too. So I want to invite you just to commit to learning more about merchandise planning bit by bit. And what that means is commit to forecasting some revenue and then tracking it to see how you do and then making adjustments. Look at your on order. Look at how long lead times take and decide if that supports your revenue goals in the way that you want to. Those are just a few simple things. Look at how your sales are comparing to your inventory. I'm really extending this information and this invitation the way that a a neighbor grandma might invite a neighbor kid over for cookies and milk. It's a general invitation, but that grandma really, really wants the company. And I really, really want you to dive in. So if this is your first time thinking through sales and forecasting and the relationship between sales and inventory, if you don't have key performance indicators, just type in a quick Google search. Again, little by little, bit by bit. And here's why. Merchandise planning is about optimizing your revenue, while at the same time minimizing the risks associated with having inventory for sale. And guess what? 
You don't have to be good at math. I promise you, you do not have to be good at math. You just have to want more profit. That's it. Because while it's not hard, it's also not easy. And that desire to run a profitable, self-sustainable business is going to be the key to help you with this new learning curve. Because if it was super easy, everyone would be rolling in dollars. And so we're not diving into merchandising math today, but I do have a few gems for you over on the blog. So just go to merchant.tips forward slash seven, merchant.tips forward slash seven, and I'll share a few of of these great articles and resources and video training if you want to step in, if you want to come closer. So one of my favorites is how to sell slow moving stock. Another is how to growth hack your business with math. (laughs) All right. So the second type of planning is a hiring forecast. So you'll want to listen to this if you have an employee or if you regularly work with contract employees or freelancers. So a hiring forecast is a way to look forward in time and determine now how many employees you need, what your support squad should look like so that you can start hiring them. Bamboo HR offers a couple of great tips. These are three of my favorites. Start with your business goals. You know this, start with the end in mind. If you have some formal or informal way of planning, look at your goals, look at your sales goals, your operational goals, process goals, production goals, whatever the case may be, and then reverse engineer. Work backwards. What kind of support do you need now in order to reach your goals? Another piece of advice they offer, which is great, is consider your ramp up time because it does take time to pull together a really effective, compelling job post, to recruit potential candidates, to schedule interviews, to conduct the interviews, to create an offer, extend the offer, onboard a new employee, and then train them so that they are as effective as you need them to be. So don't Take it for granted that it does take time to bring a star hire onto the team and up to the level that you need them at. The last tip they offer, which is so good, is to add in turnover or employee attrition because there is turnover. It may not necessarily be that a new employee decides it's not for them, but that an existing or a long-term employee might be ready to move on. One of the other things I want you to consider too is, and I'll tell you this, it's rarely considered. It takes time for employees to grasp all of the juicy things that you have to share with them. Account for the fact that there is going to be retraining time needed. And so again, a hiring forecast isn't for everyone, but if your employees need this kind of, forecasting, you'll want to be intentional. Plan it rather than scramble. Okay, the third type of planning is personal time management. This has been the key thread of every single merchant, every indie retailer, every indie maker, and honestly, every corporate retailer I have ever met. More personal time, more time off, more R&R. And one of the things that I encourage my students to do is to plan their personal time up front and then let the business responsibilities flow around them. And while it may seem like, oh, so nice, so contrite, what a dreamy thing to do, but that'll never work. We know it works because we know the reverse is true. When we decide that we're going to let the business take over our lives or the business be number one or the biggest priority, we leave just a few gaps, just a few gaps for your personal life to flow through in and around that like a river, like a riverbed. But if you lay your foundation of just, you know, maybe a long weekend or a week away with your family or a date with your life partner, The business can flow around that. You just have to prioritize what's important to you and then 
shift in the balance. Because honestly, if you're listening to this podcast, I'm guessing that you're really trying to figure out that blend of work and life. And that's like one of my um, secrets. It's not even that secret. Make time for it and plan it. It's kind of simple, but really hard to prioritize and do. So those are the three types of planning that I wanted to talk about because I want to make sure that you have your basis covered. Merchandise planning, which is about sales and inventory. The hiring forecast, which is about your support squad, what you need to achieve your goals. And third, personal time management, because I want you to have a dream business, but also a dream job. My promise to you is that I'm here to support you and in a way that's you-centered. You don't have to be like me. You don't have to plan like me. You don't have to have my exact experience to really take advantage of the tips I'm sharing here on Retail Shift. Remember, knowledge and action are most effective when they're applied within the context of your unique business using your unique business style. So when I was thinking about how do I deliver on my promise to you, I thought, Wouldn't it be cool to help you discover how you move and groove so that you can leverage that even more, use it to your advantage even more than you already are? So to help you with that, I developed a free one-minute quiz to help you understand your retail success style. And I'm so excited about it. I've been testing it out with a select group of merchants for the past few months, and I'm finally ready to share it with you. All you have to do is go to merchantmethod.com forward slash quiz. When you do, after you take your quiz, you'll get specific tips from me based on your success style. Resources like the best of, audio lessons, video tutorials, and even detailed guides if you're into that thing. Now, can I be honest with you? This is going to be the easiest homework I ever give you on this podcast. You were literally 60 seconds away from massive insight. I mean, how cool is that? Again, I'll catch you over at merchantmethod.com forward slash quiz. And with that, I want to thank you so much for joining me today. It would not be the same without you. 